my brain is like 10% depressed, so, you know, what I go for. Look at these beautiful babies. Strawberry cake and the banana cream cake. Recently, New York has been embraced by more and more sunshine. You know, spring is coming. Pretty enjoyable no matter where you walk. I feel so lucky to live in this neighborhood. It never gets old. Hmm, this rose flavor waffle was okay. I had high expectation for it, but it didn't fully fulfill my sweet tooth fantasy. I ended up drawing this vase, flowers, and glass in front of me. It turned out to be a bucket of flowers that also breathe chocolate cake. I hope it comes true someday. I'm gonna do some notebook shopping today because recently I realized I'm basically dumping every note into this one notebook. I thought it might work, but look how cute this is. Um, but so many notes, coaching notes, YouTube notes, voice lesson notes, acting notes, random thoughts and notes about my dreams. But now when things are all happening at once, it, it just became chaotic. And I think it might be time to go to bars and nobos and do some notebook shopping. Welcome to a new baby's home. this one I don't know about you guys but I am so picky when it comes to new book it has to be beautiful inside out easy to write on and it can't just be love at first sight only I gotta consider if I'll still be able to enjoy using it or looking at it after three months also came across this gorgeous book called painting California I've been dreaming of the Pacific Coast Highway road trip and that's still on my list. I bump into this chocolate shop on my way home. Look at this chocolate waterfall. Has any of you fantasized about taking a chocolate shower? If you have, leave me a comment. Or maybe I'm the only weird one here. These are new babies home. I mean, why this one just kind of remind me of Beauty and the Beast? Also got a big one here. Me and my friend Lillian were on a mission of hunting spicy food tonight. We stopped by Cha An, which is a Japanese dessert shop famous for its delicate, delicious treats. Like this one, you cut the mochi in its stomach and you stuff the strawberry inside. I made it sound violent, but that's what it is. I'm visiting my magical witch, Sarah, today. She's super excited to show me her matzo ball soup which is a traditional Jewish dish. I've never had it before. Matzo 
also for Sue. This is homemade. This is the, this is the um, test of a Jewish woman if she can make matzo ball soup. Hmm. So Sarah saw my last video, the video of me cooking stir fried tomato eggs at my friend's house and she wanted me to cook for her as well. Honestly, I enjoy cooking this dish so much over and over again. Probably could do it every day. This little frog has been dreaming of becoming a prince, and today his wish is granted. Oops. Okay, now you're officially royal. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay safe, stay hydrated. I'll see you next week.